All right, your uh, weather and traffic on the sevens out in Kansas City. Kimmy checks. Mooch, get out of the way. I do not have my AMS seal of approval, but let's clear the decks. That's right. Look at Kimmy. She's out of here. Yeah. Mooch. She's, fr- she's from this area. Yeah. We know all she's about tornadoes yeah. when you live yeah. in the Kansas and Texas area. Yeah. In the meantime, they were good enough to go inside and catch up with the MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Your dad grown up. What did he teach you in terms of being a parent that you now use with your own kids? Yeah, I think both my parents uh, parents. just just really just taught me how to follow my dreams. I think that was the biggest thing. They didn't care if I was an athlete. They didn't care uh, where I was going. They just told me to follow my dreams and do whatever I could to have no regrets at the end of the day. And so I think that's what I'm trying to do with my kids now is obviously I'm trying to parent uh, in my own way, but I want them to enjoy life. And if they play, they're young now, but if they want to play sports, they can play sports. They don't, they don't have to and uh, just enjoy it and follow their dreams. Now, you know, we're, we're going to stay here with the parenting talk. I have a seven-month-old yep, as yep. well. I remember uh, last season, Brittany and I were pretty close to, in, in pregnancy. And, you know, fathering at home is very different, I'm sure, than, you know, being the leader of this football team. But there are still some leadership skills and qualities that you pull from that, right? Guys look to you as the leader, as the veteran, as, as the face of, of this organization and, quite frankly, the NFL. So how do you learn and tweak those little lessons from your two little ones and bring them to this team? I mean, I, I wish it was as easy as it was on the football field you know where I can I talk and the guys listen so Sterling kind of runs the household so I, I talk to her but she doesn't always listen she likes to do what she wants um, but uh, no it, it does teach you a lot I mean uh with now having two kids, I mean, completely different personalities. I know one's only seven months, but it's a completely different baby than Sterling was. And um, on the football field, the same way. You never, you have to talk to people different ways. You have to teach them in different ways. And um, luckily, I got the, the ultimate teacher and coach, Reed, who I can learn from. So uh, I just try to learn as much as I can um, and try to be the best dad all at the same time. How do you define the word dynasty? Dynasty, to me, it's over a long stretch of time. And I know we've done a lot of great things. Uh, honestly, I know we've done a lot of great things. All the AFC Championship games, the Super Bowl championships and everything like that. Um, but I, I always say you can't talk about dynasties until you're done. I mean, and so we want to continue to, to, to make that dynasty. We want to make our print on the NFL and on Kansas City and on, and on the world. And uh, that's going to take hard work every single day at training camp um, and going out there and giving everything we have um, on the football field. Um, and at the end of the day, um, we look back at our career, I'm hoping that we we get to say it was a dynasty because of the way that we we played football when you meet with these guys right every day and, and you're all together what do you say to them to keep the message still that we are we're champions this last season but we can't focus just on that we need to keep our head down and locked in for the year yeah i just try to try to preach to guys that we have to do it all over again you have to continue to get better and better we have to do even better than we did last year if you look at the the afc i mean it's gotten better every single team in the afc it seems like has a chance to to be in that afc championship game and so we know week in and week out we're have to play the best football that we possibly can play and uh, i got a lot of hungry guys on this team and um, the guys that won a championship last year are obviously uh still hungry to go out there and go back to back and do that what hasn't been done in over 20 years and the guys that that haven't won are hungry to get that championship and so you just want to make sure that you come in with that right mindset every day to know you have to get, continue to get better if you want to get back in that game again. You continue to lead the league in passing, yet your receiving core keeps changing. Yeah, yeah. We got this musical chairs, really, with your receiving core. Start with Tyreek Hill and, of course, now Juju and, and Hardman and, 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 and Pringles gone, Robinson, and now you got Valdez, Scantling and mm. Darius Tony and Sky Moore, and you got all these new guys. How do you rhythm up quickly? Because there's... <laughs> There's got to be a fast learning curve if you want to continue to lead. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I think it started in the off season. They came down to Texas and worked with me. For how long? Uh, they came for about a month and a half Whoa. before we wow. got to OTAs, and they just worked with me. And I got them a place to stay, and they, and they, I'm sure they enjoyed that. Uh, my cleaning <laughs> my cleaning fee was a little higher than the usual. Was it? So, <laughs> they, were, so they must have kept they, it a little dirty. But no, they uh, they they got in the work. They've worked with me in the off season. We work in OTAs, and when we get here, we just try to fine tune things. Um, and uh, Coach Reed has a good sense about how to get the guys the right reps. Let every Everybody get in and seeing what your, your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and how we can strengthen those. Um, and I, I said this last year, and I'm like, as long as Coach Reed's calling plays, uh, I'm, not, I'm not worried about who's out there running the routes. I'm just going to go to the right guy on time, and he'll get everybody open. I can't believe a month and a half. I mean, every quarterback's trying to get with his receivers yeah. here and there, right? But a yeah. month and a half, do you outwork everybody? 
No, I, we don't. I think we outwork as a team, um, but I, I keep it light on those guys. We get the routes in, we get the work in, and then we might go grab a bite to eat. Um, I try to get some of these guys to the golf course, try to teach them a little bit. It's not pretty, but we're trying to get there. So you teach them uh, golf too. I'm trying to teach them everything. You know, I like to, I like to hang out, have a good time. So what can you do? Uh, I got to teach myself golf a little bit better before I teach them, though. All right, one last one. This one will be fun. Last year, I know I asked you what, what's been fun about training camp. Little moments you've had. You said you go out with the receivers and the O line, go over here to Chick Fil A. Uh, receivers got mad because you bought the O-line milkshakes and you didn't buy yeah. them. Anything funny happened so far at camp? Anything like that this year? Well, I'm, I'm taking the receivers to get pizza right after this. Wait, you're selling your whispering. By, the, like the, a by the time the O-line sees, they might not notice. So I'm going to try to get pizza with the receivers today and then mm -hmm. the O-line the next day. But I got to watch what I eat because I have to watch my weight. So we're going to get pizza gotta, with, with get both the guys. 223. 223 is what I'm trying to get to. All right, we'll <laughs> keep it a secret. Pizza, pizza will be a secret. Hey. Best of luck this season.